we are here with Jess Salmon. Giggly. No, uh, I'm giggly. She is on uh, competing for Sirius XM's Top 10 Comics, and she is in the festival performing artist, comedian extraordinaire. Yeah, exciting. I know I'm in between these two lovely ladies. Yep. She is, again, the tofu in our gluten-free sandwich. <laughs> are you guys saying that because I'm married to a woman? Uh, just assume that I'm vegetarian. Actually, I'm gluten-free gluten allergic, so Vina's just being considerate. Yeah, it's like... why you're skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I did, like, it's maybe it's an L.A. thing, but you do deflate upon arrival in L.A. Oh, deflate, what, your hopes and That's, dreams? No, are that happened to me. No, physically, physically, like, you're less puffy and kind of like a streamlined, ready to, like, get what you want. Yeah. I have a really positive LA perspective. <laughs> you have, I'm to, not be, a you have to be aerodynamic in your yeah. body to get into the offices yeah, exactly. that you want to get to. Yeah, exactly. Narrow doorway entrances. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're only this big otherwise. You're like, yeah. You got to thread the needle. <laughs> right. <laughs> or you won't make it back into the closet. No, I don't know. I've never done a selfie interview before. This is great. Okay. Yeah, you can it look great. at yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. What are your three most compelling flaws? Okay, number one, yeah. um, I've had this one since I was very small, uh, procrastination. I love to procrastinate. I yeah. feel like it's like I'm having an affair with time. That's how it feels like for me. It's kind of romantic. I mean, do you it's enjoy weird. it or is it a source it's, of stress? It's everything. The way that an affair is, you know, it's, I don't know if you guys have had affairs, but it's like it's very guilty. It's very passionate. It, it feels like you don't have very much time. It's stressful, but it's also awesome. I don't know. That's how, I, I think that's what... Yeah, I've been doing it since I was I've been doing it. I've been doing affairs. I've been doing, pro I've, I've been doing I think procrastination I've, yeah, since I was like very small. Yeah. But also affairs. No. <laughs> that was once. What? No. Once okay, once. Enough. Yeah, you but once is all you once need. Once and then is you're all like, you need. I know like, what it's about. Yeah, and you're like, no, I don't need to do that again. All right. Wait, yeah. was that three? No, that was no, one. No, that was one. That was a that lot was of one. things. There was like uh, an affair in there. There was, um, yeah, I don't know what else was there. I, what, what else do I have that is, I'm, um, I'm, too much time scrolling through Facebook. I don't know. That's pretty bad. Um, I guess that's not so compelling. But it haunts you at night. You're worried. Is that part? Yeah. Is that tied into number one? And that's. I guess that's all. I think it's all part it's and somewhere, parcel. Somewhere Large. Yeah. yeah. The larger picture is procrastination. Yeah. Okay. I guess. I think maybe too oh, much. Uh, too much self involvement. <laughs> I think I could. Yeah. Maybe that's the sort of bad. That's a typical comedian thing. Okay. Yeah. What are your? Um, your uh sorry i lost it <laughs> so speaking of self-involvement who is who is I your i was looking at myself in this camera phone <laughs> <laughs> oh, <scum laughs> on uh, what is what is your favorite female iconic comic it's kind of a tongue twister female comic mm. icon the person that comes to mind right now for sure is uh tina fey i think she just mm. has everything yeah. yeah yeah and so like contemporary and fresh I mean, yeah sort of always go with Lucille Ball who's like icon yeah. history I think but well, historically I'd say uh, for me probably Carol Burnett I think yeah nice yeah I mean who can forget the curtains from the Civil War <laughs> yeah. and I, well, I, fell in, I fell in love with her during Annie that was oh, like yes. yeah I don't know why yes. this is Miss Hannigan and, and yes. then I kind of got more into seeing other stuff Coming back Rina, into frame, Rina's, Rina's, Rina's yeah. green off yeah, I feel no, like I agree. Um, you, like, that out. song, uh, "Little Girls, Little Girls, <laughs> Everywhere I Look and I Rina's See very them." Versatile. Rina's actually a singer. <laughs> I'm Broadway. <laughs> but back to our main interview okay. subject. Yeah, right. Here we go. So you haven't what done else? your show yet. You I performed. did. I have. I did uh, the Montreal show uh -huh. super late Monday night, and then I hosted for Ronnie Chang, and I hosted for Steve Byrne, and mm -hmm. Friday at nine thirty, I'm hosting for Rodman. Okay. Who I'm pumped about because I watched him on Last Camera Standing, and he's amazing. Cool. How'd yeah. that? How'd it go though? The you other feel ones? great? Are you like fired up? Uh, yeah, actually felt pretty good about all of the shows. That's uh, right. Yeah, it was my first time. I, I performed at the festival last year, but only outside. So this year they let me indoors. So I'm pretty, you know, the comedy career is just. Uh, but that's how it goes. Yeah. You show up, and then slowly you start to be allowed in. <laughs> inside. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. started off sneaking <laughs> into this festival. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, now look how official you are. Too. Especially if you're from now here. Now we yeah, have passes. Can... What? With our names. Yeah. On our I feel like that's how you start. Names. You do start because you're like learning the turf. You know, a lot of people are like, "How do you get there?" And it's like, "Well, you start hanging out with the people that are doing it." Yeah, and eventually you're doing it. Yeah. What um? Unless they hate you. And you're so you have a unique. Yeah. Sorry. You have a unique perspective, of in your comedy. Yes. You are. Um, I well, I used to be a war crimes lawyer for the United Nations, until I decided it was time to get serious. 
and, uh, and so yeah I, I guess I'm kind of politically minded in my stand up when I first started though it was really just like I think people had high hopes that I would talk about smart things and all I talked about was like dirty stuff because it was just easier but now I'm kind of getting to a place where I still do dirty material but also more political stuff and um, I guess I have a like a bit of a social justice focus I don't know maybe that sounds like who wants to hear that I don't know I think I just totally <laughs> turned no. everyone off of my comedy no 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 I so saw like, no. you know it's just like I just want people to you know I, but I like think the daily like, show is all political you yeah, know like I saw I White Sonic show and it was like totally in that vein yeah that's what I want to do more how of. did you yeah. what made you start feeling comfortable bringing in more of that material uh I just sort of learning a little bit more how to write jokes and finding the funny in that. It's it's okay. harder. Um, and how, it's a higher level, of, I feel like, of comedy. Tell everyone so, how so we so everyone can <laughs> yeah, be. Step by step. <laughs> yeah, let's all cheat. Just hang around White Snack and the, watch The Daily Show and hang around just for laughs. And, no, you just have to keep writing jokes and just try them out and fail a lot. And not be afraid to do that. At the beginning, you're so desperate for a laugh that you just say anything. Mm. to get a laugh and a reaction and sex stuff usually is the ticket um, but once you relax into not you know needing being so desperate for the audience to react there's and you slip yeah you get to find your voice a little bit more and, it's like love yeah. Yeah. that is like love speaking of which <laughs> you just got married I did congratulations oh, what's that what's that what do you mean? oh my god yeah I got married um, it's very exciting I'm Jewish my wife is Palestinian it was a tiny wedding Creating world peace. It's amazing. Yeah, listen, I, I, I stopped doing it as a job, and now I do it in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big laughs in the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not, but sometimes. <laughs> Only because that's how hard she comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She once told me I look like uh, like Bill Cosby eating pudding when I <laughs> had an orgasm. That's, that's that was like really before. Awkward. That was like before everything with Bill Cosby. <laughs> You went right for the sex stuff. I know. I'm a right hack. I'm a hack. I love that you guys are just gonna like maybe edit this, and that's all that'll be there. Maybe. So my wife tells me I look like Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't know what happens to like, my eyebrows or like she my face. She didn't say Jello. <laughs> yeah, you're like ah, oh, Jello pudding. <laughs> It's funny, Rena and I did a did a Cosby sketch together actually. Oh really? So it's really funny that you brought him up. It is, He's haunting it is. us and we need to When, we need when to did go you down. do the, the sketch? Well, He's the grandfather of comedy. He's a bit like it's all awkward, but we appreciate what he brought to the community anyway. No? I loved his show. And we don't we're done? I'm done. Okay. Done with the interview or done with Cosby? Uh, or both. <laughs> all of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so this is Jess Salomon at Just for Laughs. Very exciting, Canadian female, amazing comic, one of my favorites. And uh, this is Christina Myers, Rena 100, and world peace. World peace.